So, unfortunately, after we recorded the episode, we got news, very sad news, um, especially considering what we just finished talking about, that another writer has unfortunately passed away. Um, Chad Young crashed on Sunday, April 23rd, um, while he was racing the Tour de Gila. At first, he was expected to do a full recovery. It didn't seem like his um, injuries were anything out of the ordinary for having fallen in a bike in a high-speed downhill. However, um, as the days went on, it uh, was more and more clear that he was not going to make it. The team... um, made a update on Friday saying that exactly that, that they weren't expecting him to make any recovery. And on April 29th, we found out that um, he had passed. He was 21. He had a whole career in life ahead of him. Um, As I mentioned with the Scarponi story, my threshold for tears are is very low at the moment and this is hit Michael and I especially hard because of how young he is because of how delicate and how much writers push themselves this is something that is not mentioned enough As fans, we love watching these races. We love watching these high speeds, downhills. We love how much these athletes push their bodies. Um, But I don't think that we realize the price that these riders pay. And I think that this is Chad Young paying the ultimate price for that. I've never liked crashes in cycling. I wish they wouldn't be repeated in broadcasting. I think they're the worst part of this sport. Um, And it is incredible to think that only about 10 years ago, riders still didn't ride with helmets. Yeah, that's scary. Michael mentioned earlier today that He did have a crash, a really bad crash, um, last year, um, and he managed to ride his bike home, and this is someone who rode his bike every day and now won't. We feel for his family and for his friends and team, and especially with such a young team, I, I really hope that his teammates are doing okay. Yeah, it's been a rough couple of days for Ismael and I here. Like you said, one of the good things that come out of this is seeing uh, just the great outpouring of support and love from everybody in the community. Like we just talked about Scarponi, it's the same exact thing and how much these young people bring to the sport. Um one of the best articles that I've read about it is from the Team Swan Year. Um, Reed, he's talked about meeting Chad Young a couple years ago uh, and then how just how mature Chad Young was and how his life ambitions and what he wanted to do. It was, it was so, so great to see somebody so young have that kind of insight, maturity, and knowledge. Um, and to have him taken away from us so soon is one of life's greatest tragedies. Um, he'll he'll certainly be somebody I never forget, and um, I'll hold him in my heart every time I get on a bike from now in the future. Um, this is a great tragedy, and I, I I hope I hope we never have to have one of these conversations again because we just did two, and it's. Um, it's it, it's not good. We don't like doing these. And guys, please be safe. It, seriously. About five years ago, I was going downhill and feeling pretty confident with myself. And, and 
and I wasn't wearing a helmet because it was hot. And why would you wear a helmet when it's hot out, right? I was going to the beach for a picnic. I ended up cracking my skull. <laughs> um, so... I managed to survive. I used my then boyfriend, now husband, as a crash pad. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> um, just be safe. Even if you're a professional or an aspire, especially if you're an aspiring professional, be safe. There is no need and nothing is worth it. Nothing. I just finished reading... Uh, Phil Guyman's book, um, similar um, career path as Chad Young's doing. Uh, Phil crashed in the Tour of the Gila in the yellow jersey um, a few years ago and was also taken to the hospital uh, with similar injuries. And Phil made a grand recovery. And when I first heard the news of the crash, I was like, oh, this is the same as Phil Guyman. That's terrible. But you know, we've we've seen this before, and it, it turned out okay. Phil's you know, went to the World Tour, and he, you know, was like second in San Luis. Like he's he, he got to live the dream, and to see that taken away from Chad Young is just um, tragedy. And um, we hope you guys enjoy the uh, episode uh, in the honor of Michele Scarponi and Chad Young. Um, stay safe, guys, and. We'll see you next week.